Start game now. Welcome retro fans to another edition of the No Swear Gamer. Mario is back and he's brought an early NES game. And as a matter of fact, it's possible that this is Mario right here on the cover of Golf. Yeah, looks a little older, a little bit pudgier, but maybe that was before he got all popular and got that famous Hollywood plastic surgery stuff going on there. But yeah, I dig these early NES boxes, even though there's really not much to them. Just pixelate art and a nice black background. Has some good screenshots on the back. And it says it's golf from T to Green. You've never played a golf game like this. Let's go ahead and pop this in my NES and find out if that holds up today. Let's go to the game. Golf on the NES was one of the black box launch titles that probably came out with the 1985 test market launch. It is a golf game and there's three options. One player stroke play, two player stroke play, or two player match play. The game has one 18 hole course and in single player mode you have no other opponents. You're just playing to get the best golf score possible like what I'm going to be doing in this video. Before you hit the ball you can press the up and down on the d-pad to select from a full range of golf clubs. You can also press left and right to adjust your aim. However, your selected angles that you can choose from are limited so you may have to hook or slice to get it to go to where you want. Hitting the ball uses the traditional but at the time groundbreaking three click method with using a swing gauge. So you press the A button to start your swing. When the gauge is at the amount of power that you desire, you press it again to start your downswing and then you complete your swing when it reaches the white center by hitting the button again. If it stops to the left of the white center, you will slice it to the right. If you stop to the right of the white center, it will hook to the left. And if you hit it dead center, you'll actually get some extra length out of your shot. The B button is not used at all in this game. You also have to account for wind speed and direction, except when you're on the putting green where you will have to account for sloping. You can also hit the ball out of bounds, including into the water and the woods that populate the golf courses in many areas. Graphically speaking, I thought this was a solid looking golf game, especially if you compare it to early golf games that came before it. And sound wise, while not spectacular, I still thought it was solid. And of course, this is a family friendly game. Now on eBay, this game is pretty cheap. Loose copies go for about four to five dollars. That includes the shipping. Complete copies ranged from ten to twenty-five dollars, probably depending more on the condition. And there were even some new copies that sold for a hundred dollars and above. Those black box games are very collectible if new. So would I recommend golf? Well, probably not. Now, if you compare this to something like Atari 2600 Golf, for instance. You could definitely see that it's a big step up and it probably was very impressive when it first came out. However, there are some problems that don't hold up well today. The holes show the distance from the tee to the hole, but it doesn't update it. So once you make a shot, you have to guess how far away you are from the putting green. Also, it tells you in the manual, but it doesn't tell you on the screen how far each club hits. So again, you have to kind of guessimate. And this leads to just a ton of estimation. And for me, that meant that in some holes, I went well over par, just trying to figure out which club would work best and how far away I was. And sometimes getting frustrated with some of the out of bounds woods that were dead center in the course. Now, some holes I was able to get good scores on, and I can see how if someone really practiced the game, they could get used to these hangups. But the truth is, is there's definitely better games on the system and a few changes would have definitely improved the game. So this is a game for the most part that I'm going to say pass. So where am I going to rank golf on the Nintendo Entertainment System? Well, on my list, I'm looking at baseball. I currently have it at number 17 and it also was an early black box sport game, but I found that one a little bit boring and I actually enjoyed golf just a little bit more. So I'm going to put it just ahead of baseball in the new number 17 spot. Thank you guys for giving me a little part of your day. Don't forget you can check me out on Facebook and Twitter as well. And click those like and subscribe buttons. That would mean a lot. Thanks again, guys. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on the No Sword Gamer. Take care, everybody.